Hey guys, wanted to share with you some fun with bones today. I have bones on my shirt. I got bones on my pants um, and I've got bones like a model to share with you today as, as well. Um, I am learning uh, about how to be a yoga therapist and we're studying about the body. And one of the things that fascinated me was to learn where the sits bones are in your body. So these parts of you right here, it's called the ischial tuberosity, which is talking about the hip issue. Ischio means hip, and then um, uh, the tuberosity part is about a rough uh, projection or this part here that sticks out. And that's the part of you when you balance um, in a yoga pose um, or that part with you when you feel your, that on those bones on the seat, that's the sit bones, also referred to as the sit bones. Uh, so I wanted to talk about that today. This is your tailbone. All right, the part of you called the coccyx. And these are, this is your iliac crest here, or I've also heard it referred to as your ASIS, uh, which just stands for lots more longer words. And 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 um, in this part, you can feel whenever you actually find that part of you right here, right, you know, below the waist, you can kind of feel the top of that in your body, right? So let's try to find the sit bones, and we'll do boat pose to check it out today. So find your bum on the floor, right? And then really feel where you can find those bones where it really connects to the ground. Take your hands right behind your um, thighs or you can rest your hands behind here. This can be where you start. And then if you would like a little more work, you can lift up the legs, right? And if you'd like a little more challenge to the center of you, you can take your hands and let them go, let them go, right? And when you start to feel that shaking happening right here in the middle of you, you know that's where the good stuff is, um, is happening. You're really getting stronger in the middle of you. And then you can pull your knees back into your chest. But yeah, so I learned that um, in one of my classes and I thought that was really fascinating uh, whenever you are thinking about your sits bones. Well, where are they? Since it's Halloween, it seemed like a good thing to think about today. So I had a first grader tell me a great joke. So we'll end on that. Uh, why did the skeleton not go trick or treating? Hmm, why did the skeleton not go trick-or-treating? Because he had no body to go with. Yay, guys, have a great day. Thank you for having um, some fun with Miss Brome.